Yo, yo, yo. What the fuck is up? We are sitting here, no escape, in the motherfucking house. We are sitting here at a 30 plus 3. Sit and go, six-handed. We are going to bang this out. It is fucking 1 a.m. in the morning. But we are going to own some donks tonight. Well, at least that's the plan. $30 plus 3. First and second pay. Um, being that I do play a lot. Well, I used to play a lot. Now that I have a full-time job. Well, that's not necessarily the case. But being that I did used to play a lot. I know that semi-charmed AK is a full-time player. Well, not necessarily a full-time player in aspect to hours. He's on full tilt a lot, to sum it up. He's a frequent player on full tilt. He's not a donk. He knows what he's doing. While I can't remember if he's tight or aggressive, I know he's not a donk, and I know he's on a calling station. He's either tight or aggressive. I don't have notes on him on this computer. He may be on my laptop notes, but on this computer, he's not on my notes. But I do know who he is. He, he does know what he's doing. So going in already, we do know one player. So that is a good thing. The bad thing is we do know he's good, so that takes one donk. That takes one donk out of the possible donks. Judging, um, judging, judging by the I have five ten, uh, five nine. No reason to contend there. Judging by the avatars in my old videos, which have been deleted, by the way. I used to comment about avatars, and if you look at the avatars, elephants usually tight. The the black guy with the fro usually uh, is pretty solid, but we'll make a play now and then. The shark is usually uh, tight aggressive, and the fireman is usually tight or passive most of the time. The godfather avatar to your left normally is a donk. So let's see, let's see if he fits into that category. I did this video because I haven't done a video in a while, but I did this video in light of um, Full Tilt Challenge's recent video in which someone has been a little uh, nasty. So I decided to do a video of my own at one o'clock in the morning when I just got off of work. Um, let's see, he bets pot here, so most likely he has, most likely he has it. I mean, Betting pot there. There's no with. The, look at the blinds. 15:30. He's betting 300. I mean that's outlandish. I mean he he has it. I mean there's there's no doubt about it. Was the bet stupid? Yes. I mean by betting like that you give away that you have it. So I don't understand that bet. But anywho. I'm filming this because of uh, Full Tilt Challenge, the recent scrutiny. I mean, it wasn't really scrutiny. It was one person that um, took took shit a little bit too serious. I mean, you're gonna criticize a play in a three dollar turbo. I mean, I mean, you need to keep your pants on because, first off, to be brutally honest, if you don't post your own videos, I noticed this kid has a. Uh, two videos with no sound on his page. If you don't post your own videos with commentary, do me a favor, don't, don't, don't be so harsh on someone else's page. That's number fucking one, okay? Because if you don't have the balls to post your poker play on the internet, don't, don't be so negative about someone else's. It takes a lot of balls to post how you play a hand on the internet because you're opening yourself up to criticism. So, until you post and give commentary and do free rolls and, you know, whatever, be nice to people, do me a favor and just be quiet. It's one thing to be, I don't disagree with the play. It's another thing to start drama. I mean, there's no need for that. For the most part, um, 
the poker community should only give a shit about winning money and being cool. I don't see a reason. I don't see a reason to pick fight over pick a fight over stupid things unless you have nothing else better to do than pick a fight. Because obviously no one no one fucking cares. You sit heads up. You grind out a 90 person turbo KO. And you fucking, you fucking play heads up for a bit. And you tell me that when you get king queen, after playing so long in a $3 turbo, that after a while you're going to be like, you know what, this kid's a donk, I probably have him dominated, why not call? You're taking, you're taking uh, WSOP on TV to heart and you're going a little bit crazy with it. He was playing a $3 turbo breathe he was probably in the turbo for at least an hour and a half and probably sore the worst play ever because if you ever sat down if you ever sat down in a three dollar turbo you would know you would know you would know why he's calling there so until you do that please shut up anyway let's on to the hand obviously semi charmed has the best hand here and wants a call I mean, he could, he could be betting that big and hoping someone has it. That's why I don't understand why you would bet that big. It's obvious to me. See, it's obvious to me. It's obvious to me. Why would you bet that big? You're telling me, please call me idiot. What does he do? He calls a queen jack. While an idiot might call or a novice player might call, I could tell you right, I told you right off the bat, don't call. Just like if I don't know what hand it was, whatever. We were. I was saying, hey, he's betting too much into bot. With the flush on the with the flush on the table, don't call. It's it's played his day. What did he bet? Four hundred into six. Come on, you know what the fuck he has. If he bet two hundred or one hundred, then you're like, what the fuck is he doing? I don't know what the fuck he's doing. You bet that much and you call, you're a fucking idiot, man. Please don't call that. It was plain as day. It was plain as day what Semi Charm had. I'm gonna mark him as tight, because that's what he is. I don't know why his notes aren't on my computer, but whatever. I got Queen Ted here. I am the small blind. Let's see if anything develops. Obviously, if it is a race. I'm not uh, goodbye. There's there's no there's no consideration. Let let's see what the elephant does. He smooth calls, that's fine, whatever. Now, the elephant, I'm getting like a sevens, seven sixes feel. And semi charmed, I think he's gonna continuation bet with overs. He doesn't. So he might not have one over, he's probably got an ace or a king with a rag. Or he might have some dot I don't think he has because uh, if he had diamonds here, he would have made a stab without even thinking about it. I don't have him on. I have him on at least a king or ace. All right, he calls. I still think he could have five, six, or sevens, and he wants to see it cheap, whatever. Semi charm has to bet or he loses. See, look at that. I had semi charm peg dead, but bogus. Instead of ace queen, I thought he had pockets. Whatever. I had semi charm dead. He should have bet. See, uh, the fireman said, you missed a bet, Joe. Although, I don't know who he's calling Joe. Oh, he's talking about this guy, but whatever. If the fucking shark bets there, if the shark bets there, I don't think he... Let's see what the pot was. Four hundred thirty. Let's put it this way. There's no bet. Unless he made it 400, I don't I don't think the elephant can fold. I just don't think he can. I mean, he was calling the only reason why the shark semi charm 